Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 4 Episode 3 to see how accurate all the science technology in this anime really are. I forgot these statues were a thing until they showed them like this. What happened to Y-Man? There are plenty of bat caves in the United States. I'd imagine these people are petrified because the ones who are currently awake, like, like Senku woke up, they probably just want these poor unfortunate souls to stay the way they are. Give it a few thousand years, there's gotta be an abundance of animals to hunt for food. Since they're in San Francisco, most of these statues are probably engineers. Wake a couple of those guys up, it will help out a lot. The lawyers are useless in this world. Engineers, though, would be a really big asset in rebuilding. <laughs> they screwed up! The Dr. Stone writers actually got it wrong. This is the first time in season four, and I don't remember the last time any, really anything that was just completely scientifically incorrect. Yeah, this never happens. Sequoia pine cones are not even close to that size. They look like this. On average, two inches tall? What Suika is holding is a sugar pine cone, which are massive. It's a very common mistake because both the sequoias and sugar pines occupy the same habitat, coastal California. People often associate the biggest tree with the biggest pine cone, and nature had other plans. That is really, really cool! Okay, Dr. Stone writers, you've gained all my respect again. Not that you lost it for very long. Okay, yeah, th th this is super cool. I I've heard this called all sorts of names. My favorite is the Procession of Equinoxes. How badass is that? The Earth has three discovered motions. The first one is the daily rotation, which takes 24 hours. Second one is the annual movement, which takes 365 days. And the third one is this. Precision, which takes 26,000 years? We have the moon orbiting our planet and the Earth orbits the sun. There's a gravitational wobble created here with each of these objects acting upon each other's gravitational pull. The moon is pulling on the Earth as the Earth is pulling on the moon and the sun is just pulling in everything. The other planets in our solar system also have a hand to play here. I'm not sure to what extent they'll influence the precession of Earth because the sun's gravity is just so overwhelmingly greater than Jupiter's gravity, for example. This precession effect will cause the Earth's axial tilt to move a further one degree every 72 years. In Dr. Stone, the Earth is tilted 51 degrees from what we currently have today. Senku actually observed this already in season one when he was uh, like trying to read the stars and I think it was just him and Taiju at that point. And he was just going, hey, this doesn't look right. And this is the, the reason why it doesn't look right, because Senku is looking for Polaris, the North Star. And then he realized that's not the North Star anymore because of this precession of the Earth's tilt. Here's where it gets really cool, because it takes about 3,200 years for the precession of Earth such that Polaris is no longer our North Star. It's almost exactly the same amount of time that the Earth was petrified under that beam. And if the Dr. Stone writers thought that far ahead, wow, you, you can have any size pine cone you like because that is really cool. No, I am with Gen on this. Screw you, Senku, for jinxing all of this. There are no modern day crocodilians of any kind in California, outside of captivity. I think America is also the only country with both crocodiles and alligators? I may have also just made that up, so please fact check me. This is possible given 30,700 years going by. Crocodilian fossils have been found in California, quite a few in fact, which means at least 
a variation of the modern day crocodile or alligator did live in California at that time. What makes absolutely no sense when all the crocs swim up to that motorized boat because they're hungry. No, <laughs> these are animals that will perceive that boat as a really loud, giant, screaming object just going top speed on the surface of the water, wild amount of noise, vibration in the water, and an object that size, it will scare them all away, it will not attract them. <laughs> Legit, the all stars? Hell yeah! I've had alligator before in New Orleans and it tastes like chicken. It's not the same texture. You know what? I. Ah, uh, this is a cool episode. Uh, th yeah, I I'm, I'm really enjoying this one. Hell yeah. I also really appreciate this one because a hamburger is the iconic American culinary gift. And I I'm so, like, that's so cool to me that this is the food item that they chose to eat when they first got to the US. That, that's very clever. There's other ways of getting information about your surroundings using all sorts of animals and plants. If you were looking for water, for example, and you found a weeping willow, it, I mean, it doesn't always mean that there is a pond or a lake or river nearby. Those trees, however, they only exist in areas of high moisture, so you know there's either a lot of rainfall, or th there's there's a fresh water source somewhere, or it's a constant rain, and that so that's how you can gather information from inanimate objects. That's correct. Butterflies and moths are in the family Lepidoptera. Basically, a hundred million years ago, give or take a millennia. There were a group of moths that said, you know what, we're done being nocturnal. And they just started flying during the day. And then they end up finding flowers with a lot of nectar inside of them. These flowers are actually co-evolving with bees. This is where butterflies come from. It was just this repeated genetic passing on of these moths that stayed awake during the day and they fed off the nectar of flowers. All butterflies are specialized moths. Why is it final? Did he just speak English? Spraying bullets like that as if there's an endless supply. Maybe someone actually did wake up all the engineers in Silicon Valley and then just built the armor and machine gun. Why did they find out is a interesting way of wording that question. Why, why? Why, 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 man? Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best rest of your day.